Uh, we might as well talk about the science of flight just a little bit, just sort of in its basic form. Um, so I was going to talk about airfoils and the concept of lift and uh, sort of the general idea of how airplanes fly. So um, if you've flown in an airplane before, you probably have noticed that the wings have a particular shape. Maybe you haven't paid that much attention, but I think we all kind of have a sense of what airplane wings look like. Um, if we could jump to my screen, I have a bunch of different pictures of airplane wings that we can take a look at. Um, so here's just a variety of different airplane wings, and uh, you know they all have this kind of shape that's tapered out toward the end. And uh, looking at them from the side, looking at them, if we could look sort of right at the side of the airplane wing, at like a cross section of it, we would get something that looks uh, sort of like this little disc here in the center of this diagram. So airplane wings are designed with a particular shape to create what's called lift. And lift is exactly what it sounds like. It's a force that lifts something up, that raises something into the air. So uh, the design of airplane wings, or the shape of them, allow air to pass around the wing in a way that the air going over the wing is going to be moving faster than the air going underneath the wing. And this movement of air, this difference in speed of air over the wing and under the wing, creates two different kinds of pressure zones. So the air moving over the wing, the fast moving air, creates a low pressure zone. Because in general, uh, uh, fast moving air creates a lower pressure area. Uh, slow moving air, or slower moving air, going under the wing, is therefore a higher pressure zone. And since there's higher pressure below the wing, we get lift. I've got a little diagram here. It's a little bit smaller, um, but I can probably blow it up for us. So this kind of idea right here, that, uh, that more pressure on the bottom of the wing and less pressure above the wing creates a situation where uh, the wing gets lifted up, the wing's attached to the airplane, and that is what lifts the aircraft into the air. Um, and it's kind of amazing. I think that sometimes when we think about um, airplanes and how they work, uh, you know, I, even, even though I know the science of them, I'll sit on an airplane and feel a little bit unsure sometimes, even as it's beginning to take off. Uh, but people see propellers on airplanes, or you see uh, uh, the gigantic jet engines uh, on the sides of the wings. And, and I think people often have misconceptions about how flight actually works. But it really is just the speed of the vehicle creating airflow over the wings, uh, uh, creating this lift on, on uh, the airflow. 